What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And this is going to be a pretty interesting video because this is the last fan that I have to do for now for the Reborn Review Series, um, the S223, because I've never done it for some reason, so here we are. Let's get into it. So this right here is my 1976 Liquid S223, first generation, with this haircut at orange. And it's got the treasury badge on it, because it's got a branch off of JCPenney. So yeah, let's take a look at the fan. I got some scratches over here. That might have been from someone else. That wasn't me. Got some terracotta orange. Very nice color. Very nice color. And uh, to the grill. Have that treasury badge. I believe treasury is a branch off of JC Penny. So we got the first generation blade set. So yeah. Uh, I got this fan off of eBay in May of 2020 for I think seventy dollars. That was with shipping. Um, the fan came from Chicago, which is where Lakewood's headquarters was, so that was pretty cool. I'll show the top. It's got a rope handle. I had to put this on here. When I bought the fan, there was no handle, so we made a rope handle, which is pretty comfy and pretty nice looking. Definitely adds to the fan, makes it look a little more... I don't know. But it looks pretty good. I think it looks better than the original handle, to be honest with you. Then we have the white speed sticker with the chrome outline. Uh, they use those for the kind of mid 70s to like the late 70s to like around 78 to 79 when they started using their sparkly stickers. So I got it's pretty sunny so I can get some good uh, lighting in here. We'll get to the back. I'm going to sleep with this fan for the fall of the week. So. And the cord has been shortened because. I guess maybe it got cut off somewhere because it's a shorter cord and it does not have the original plug. It's got a, like a really fat plug. So, anyway, here's the back of the S223. The grill looks a little funny here. I don't know why. We have the Westinghouse motor. The code on this motor is F76. So June of 1976, I did re-ink that, so it's a little bit more clear. And I did polish that. That was a mistake I made because the polish was smelling horrible when I ran the fan. So don't polish your motors, kids, but it does look pretty cool. The reason why that paint's not there is because it, it came off upon the first cleaning I did in 2020. That's why there's paint missing on the motor. And another thing is the uh, feet are avocado green. I never seen a Lakewood with different colored feet. So it's pretty cool to have a terracotta orange fan with ter uh, avocado green feet. It's pretty random actually. That was very dramatic. Uh, the sticker used to be over here somewhere. Uh, the seller thought it was a great idea to put tape over it and completely ruin the sticker. So I tried to restore it to the best I could, and I re-glued it over here. As you can see, it's all gross now because the cleaner, I mean, the seller, instead of cleaning the sticker, then putting tape over it, for some reason the seller just put tape over the dirty sticker. So when you go to take the tape off, it would ruin the sticker, and it's all dirty because he didn't clean it first. So you can see all the dirt over time is stuck to the sticker now because there's tape over it. So, yeah. But all you need to know is the fan average is, I think, around 2.5 something amps on kilowatt meter. And obviously, it's an S223, which we all know. So, not much else need to be said. And there's a chip here, and I believe there's a crack in the grill right there. And I, I taped it with duct tape on the other side of the grill so you won't see it. And the blades may or may not have been polished. 
Um, anyway, this fan got some work around two months ago. It started buzzing out of, out of the blue. Westinghouse motors aren't really known for buzzing, so that was kind of weird. But um, after varnishing and oiling, it seems to run pretty strong now, like new. So let's demonstrate that, and here's how I... Here's low, which is the best speed, in my opinion. This is the iconic liquid low speed, which makes this an excellent overnight fan. Back up to high. I think the fan, the wind, to hit the door. And I'm cold. This fan cooled me down pretty good. Sorry for your footsteps. I don't know who the heck is walking around up here when I'm recording a video. That's not usually common. Anyways, that is my S53. There really is no story or any other things really behind this one, but it is one of my more favorite fans in the collection because it's just something I've been trying to get since I was little. So it almost feels like a childhood fan because when I was little, I've always wanted one. And then I didn't get one until, you know, a long time. So... Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, I will see you guys in the next one.